actually a video. Don't go, hey, you put nothing in there. welcome back to my youtube channel i am sheree and in my spotlight this time around i will be talking about my trip to estes park colorado for work and travel now before i start the video go ahead and click that like button ensure that you leave a comment down below i would greatly appreciate it and also please share this video with somebody help me to grow my youtube channel even before I went to university, I've always heard about work and travel and thought it would have been a great experience to try out the program. We had a group of people from, from different universities and we basically traveled in pairs and groups and for persons who could not make it um, with other persons had to travel alone but at least they got the experience or they got to hear other person's experience of traveling so that they can know what to do and how best to reach to the, the destination. So we met Dina uh, via WhatsApp or through this channel, through the agency. And we, Vaughn and I met up with her. We bought our tickets, met up with her at the airport. It was my first time meeting Dina and we traveled together. No my regret you know i'm not even gonna say i regret it because it was kind of fun we had a layover of 12 hours for our flight in miami so we traveled to miami and had to wait for about 12 hours until our next flight um we had to sleep on the floor inside the airport was very cold so dina and i went outside to sleep <laughs> And we also explored outside and realized that Miami airport was pretty different from the other airports because you could go outside, look at the palm trees, get some fresh air. Other airports, you basically just have to stay in the building, as far as I know. Could I get checked in? Yes, no, no, no. We're in Miami and we're trying to find South Beach. <laughs> Probably find East Beach instead. But at least it's a beach, right? A night beach, skinny dipping and all of these things. <laughs> yeah. Till 12 o'clock, my 12 o'clock limit done. <laughs> and we're going down the escalator. It's down. I don't like this at all. Like, seriously. I don't. Me <laughs> So after four hours, we were in Denver International Airport, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. When I was in the plane, I was wondering, what well, how the place that looks so nice in a building? Like, I really hear so we're going on. I want to push place this. Me say, oh, what kind of push place is me come? <laughs> yes, but. I mean, we went to the airport. The airport was big. We got something to eat because we were waiting for our drive to come and pick us up. 
I don't like it anyway. It's when, the, it's when the driver come and them, and the airport door open, I say a piece of coal lit me. Even though, even though it was in summer, it was so cold. I had to get my coat and my glove. So we went to the dining room and to be honest I was so overwhelmed at the amount of food it was buffet style and I was happy to see the amount of food that was there the amount of different you know selections but what I did not know was that I was going to get sick and tired of that food during the summer and that was what made that was the worst thing for me that summer the food the food the food that I was paying for and had to still um, seek food that I would actually eat outside of YMCA. Well, that's where I found out that my body cannot digest barbecue, American barbecue, not KFC barbecue, American barbecue, coming up KFC barbecue. So anything that has that barbecue sauce, I cannot smell it and I cannot eat it because it made me sick. One of the pleasures for me was when we met up with the other Jamaicans, my now lifetime friends, yes, and I also got to meet my roommate, big up to Georgia, she's such a darling, I would not change anything when it comes down to my living situation during my trip to YMCA, during my stay at YMCA. I'm happy for the roommate that I had. I mean, at first I was like, okay, I wish Dina and I was sharing, but at the end of the day, she was comfortable. I was comfortable. We were in the same building. Vaughn was down the hall. So we were all comfortable. And um, we met with the other Jamaicans and we had them for like a reasoning, and they were, they were all cool people. We were like a family, and they gave us some, like, some heads up on what was going on and I started to feel a bit more comfortable and what amazed me was, was the amount, the variety of different races that were there and I thought wow, I had, I had quite a few culture shock while I was there I'm not sure if I'm going to mention some of them but it was such a fun experience meeting other people from different countries <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely. The outfit of the of the evening. Your goodies? And the hairstyle of the evening. No girl. Come on. So while we were there, we met Nurse Randy, Dina and I, and she invited us to go to the park. 
So since we were free, we said, all right then, yes, we're gonna get ready to go and we did just that. So when I heard about the park, I just put on a, a little skirt since it was in the evening and a marina and carry my little sweater and put on our slippers. Guys, I thought it was a typical part that we were used to where we would sit and hold a little reason and watch for probably you would see some kids on swings and slides but that was not the case that was not the case we were actually going to rocky mountain national park and so when nurse randy saw how we were dressed she was basically shocked and we did not get why she was shocked until we got to rocky mountain um, national park it was so cold so we were moving from an elevation of about 8,000 above, above sea level to 14,000 above sea level and there was no there was no up there like I did not know that that's where we were going or else I would wear a pants or something I would take a thicker jacket I just did not know <laughs> I don't know but I'm telling you I had the time of my life when I went to Rocky Mountain National Park and I just want to say thanks to Nurse Randy for taking us I felt alive and I cannot believe that this girl from Paradise District St. Elizabeth was there was on top of the world and travel I have to spend my birth birthday in America and this time we went to Denver City for my birthday it was me Dina Vaughn and Josh who took us thank you so much Josh if you're watching this by any chance for taking us to Denver while being in Denver City we they were having a uh, March and the people were naked uh, I did not really get to catch that on video much but it was basically a culture shock for me and <laughs> I'm happy that I went because I think it was funny I enjoyed my birthday I enjoyed the food that we had and it was my first time being in the city area in um, the US so I really, really appreciated that day. With arms, come over. Yes. Come over. Did you have it? Yeah. Key bank. Oh, key bank. Oh, nice. It's key bank. Josh are on the back there, Vaughn and Dina.
We have backup. We have Chris Brown. Yeah, I'll knock him out. Yeah. Way to go, Chris. <laughs> Nossa! Que da água! boiling down and we had so many things that we wanted to do um, and so Vaughn and I decided to go on the aerial tramway the day before we left Estes Park and we did just that and that was one of the other thing that stood out to me the most about my trip to Colorado so we went up there and we got to feed chipmunks even though I was kind of scared of them at first but seeing them they're so cute and they would push the peanut to the side of their mouth the view from the aerial tramway was astonishing it showed the entire city and the mountainous area was breathtaking it's one of the best views I've ever seen in my entire life I would definitely go again. Yeah, fool, so. A poor thing, angry. Crisis. What? <laughs> Don't fling it after them, you're wicked. Make him grab it out of your hand. No. <laughs> it's paused. Ah, got your belly full. Go on. Go on. Oh, you act. Make him go. You act. You don't act. Go yeah. Act. They must spread at you. <laughs> no. Actually, a video. Don't go. Hey, you put nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, going on my back. But take this.
thank you all for making it to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. If you know somebody who would like the channel, please share it with them so that I can build my subscribers. I really want my audience to get bigger guys. for watching and see you guys later.